Hello human beings, let's do some manga shopping at Kenu Kanuya. This is in Seattle, Washington. I was on vacation on an Alaskan cruise and the port town was in Seattle so I decided to come check it out. This is my first time ever in a Kenu Kanuya, so this was awesome. And before anyone says anything, yes I know I filmed vertically and I am a scrub. It will not happen again. So obviously this store is pretty sweet. I've only shopped on it online. We got little tree buddies and we got knickknacks and plushies galore. It's a weebs paradise hedgehogs for everyone. Didn't have all day to spend here, but I was able to look at pretty much everything, even these awesome socks. Though I'm kind of annoyed, all the socks that you buy as gifts, they're all like super long socks. Like I just want, you know, no-show socks or shorter ones like these. All these little knickknacks and little blind box things are all throughout Kinokunuya and they are hard to not just want to buy some of them. And right here we have, as you can see, sloth merch. And no, I'm not getting paid for these sloth merch. These ones were squishy. They were like memory foam and they were kind of hecka cute. And I was almost wanting to pick up them, but then I was like, nah, they all gonna fit in my luggage back on the plane. Super bummed they had the Cintiquil here. As you can see, I'm jumping at the chance to buy this Cintiquil in Lego form and out of stock. Everybody wanted the Cintiquils, Charmanders, and T-Pigs. Nothing else there is even remotely worth it. Tons of the fire dude from Demon Slayer that is dead doing a little I'm dead dance here. Yep, no one cares about you. Got some Jujutsu Kaisen people. I'm just not interested in those things. But here we go. They had a big section of manga here, and this is not Japanese, this is Chinese, which I was surprised. I did not know Kinokunuya sold languages other than Japanese and English. So here we are at the Japanese section. So much cool stuff, super jelly. Yes, kingdom, oh my gosh. Does want an English plaza. It's crazy, it would make so much money. Come on, three in ones, hardcovers, give me something. They had so much stuff here, it just, obviously I just wish I spoke and read Japanese so I could buy all this stuff and be happy. This store was pretty cool, it, it was like an upstairs and a downstairs, I don't know if all Kinu Kinu's are like that. They probably all vary by, you know, wherever they're placed, but this one was cool. I actually thought there was an English manga for the most part until I seen that there was an upstairs and assumed it was up there. I really like how they wrap all the manga. It just feels right. It feels clean. It feels good. Yeah, you don't get to flip through the manga, but you get fresh manga, which has a higher chance of being in good condition. Got one piece down here and easy way to get spoilers is to look at all these covers that they have because they are way farther ahead than we are in English. Man, if all my manga volumes were this thin and like with rounded spines, I'd be able to fit so much more on the covers. That blew my mind right there. Moriarty the Patriot 18, are you kidding me? I think at the time of filming this, volume eight was the latest one out in English. It's crazy to me that they were 10 volumes ahead. That's nuts. 
And here we go, I know we're getting Tokyo Revengers and the Omnis, and I appreciate and love them, but come on. Look at these singles here, look at these covers. I took some wide shots here so we can get an idea. A lot of cool stuff. Just so much cool manga and obviously super jelly that they're all in stock and so far ahead. And you see that ladder there? I'm gonna need one of those someday. And here I just had to show it off. Kingdom, they're up to 64 or maybe even farther than that. Oh my gosh, come on. Print this in English, please. I know it's a lot, but it's so good, and I want to read it. Cannot have a store without Funkos. There's just tons of Funkos. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting sick and tired of seeing Funkos, especially at conventions. But this stuff was pretty cool. A lot of cool figures, Gundams, even some Jujutsu Kaisen. You got little ones, big ones, a sweet Bakugo there. So this is the kind of stuff that I would want. But didn't want to buy any of it because I got to put all this in my luggage. And I don't got a ton of space. Now this stuff I was seeing everywhere and I don't know if people like these. I mean, I'm assuming they do since they're everywhere, but it's just these tons of these like little grab bag things with keychains in them. Like do people really use that many keychains? Like pretty cool Sailor Moon section. They definitely had tons and tonnage and tonnage of merch. I mean, just like, look at this. It's just like jam packed in here. You have to spend hours and like slowly dissect each aisle. They got tons of calligraphy and pen, writing, tons of things in different languages. It was super, super cool. And this gives you a overview of what the store looked like. It was a pretty nice store. And here's the top level. I'm not really going to show too much of the English manga, but it is all up here, as you can see to the left. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Everything that you can find online and in normal stores. They definitely had a bigger and better selection. Definitely bigger and better than Barnes & Noble, that's for sure. And then I got to see these things I didn't know exist, like these One Piece books about their faces or something. Like, I don't even know what the heck is going on. And it says 27,000 faces or something. Like, what? Like, what is this? They also had so many art books and different collector books like you're seeing here and also tons of rows of them, which is really exciting because those are something that I am happy to buy no matter what the language, if it's full of art. And that's what you're seeing here. Did not have the time to sit there and dig through these because obviously I can't see what they are unless they're flat like these ones are and facing me because I cannot read Japanese so you kind of got to like move most of them around and check them all out I was in an Asian market and I seen these drinks I mean they are super cool you got the Sailor Moon people you got one piece here but $3.99 $4 at that price you gotta like set it on your shelf and never drink it like it's like a collectible I mean they look cool has anyone ever drank these I mean I've seen jank ones before in like GameStop or something like DBZ juice or something <laughs> All right, back from Kino Kanuya, and like I said, it was my first time ever being there, so I did pick up a couple things. Didn't spend too much time in there, but enough that I was able to see everything, and I picked up a couple things, and let me show you what I got. First things first, they give you tons of free bookmarks, obviously promoting some of their series. I will never use these, but they are uh, cool to have. They aren't as good looking as these beauties right here, though. A couple small 
small things I picked up. I picked up this otter holding its baby otter, holding a little heart that says love. This thing was just freaking cute and I picked it up for my wife because why the heck not? I got a magnet there. Obviously you see the space needle and cherry blossoms which are not around the space needle. I seen this Tokyo Revengers postcard book and this is hardcover. This looked really cool to me. So I decided to, uh, you know, just pick it up. It's pretty sweet looking. Comes with some stickers, which is cool. And then as someone who just, you know, reads the manga like me, it's neat seeing these guys in color, you know, instead of just on the uh, cover of the mangas. Just a little neat thing to have on the shelves. Then I picked up this, the Adventurer's Bible of Delicious in Dungeon, and this is in English, which is cool. I didn't know they had one of these things. And this just happens to be a like world guide. You get characters, you get the animals here and stuff. It's, it's really cool. I really like this, so I picked it up. It was sweet. And then I grabbed this One Piece Rivals book. And this is the One Piece magazine, and this is volume 14. I didn't know this existed. This is so cool, and I wish it was in English so bad. You got posters, and this one's focusing on rivals and stuff. You got color pages and tons of super awesome things to look at. And about One Piece Odyssey, video game out now, looks sweet. And also in the back here you see tidbits, you get a chapter or so of One Piece drawn by Boichi, the artist of Dr. Stone, which you may know him from. And he's doing stuff for this and the Ace series. So you get to see One Piece artwork in his style, which is more hyper detailed and looks super cool. And you get stuff like this. You get the ladies of One Piece in like in different clothing and stuff like that. And you get art prints and things. And you get some cosplay in the back. This book is just super cool and I hope I can get more of these in the future. Let me know if you have been to Kinokunuya and if there's anything that you look forward to in Kinokunuya or in any stores that you go to to try to find manga. I'll see you all next time.